Even with the best treatment, pancreatitis can spiral, so we need to be vigilant for complications. In dogs, because the inflammation is often acute and explosive, the complications tend to be life-threatening and systemic. The biggest fear is DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, a clotting nightmare where the dog essentially uses up all its clotting factors and starts bleeding spontaneously. We also watch closely for cardiac arrhythmias triggered by inflammatory toxins and acute kidney injury from shock. Long term, if the damage to the pancreas is severe enough to destroy the islet cells, a dog can recover from pancreatitis only to be left with permanent diabetes mellitus. In cats, the complications reflect the chronic, simmering nature of the disease. The most immediate danger is hepatic lipidosis, fatty liver syndrome, if they refuse to eat for just a few days. Beyond that, we worry about the scarring effects of chronic inflammation. Over time, this fibrosis can lead to exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, EPI, where they can no longer digest food or diabetes. And remember triaditis. Complications in a cat often involve the liver and intestines, not just the pancreas. Finally, what do we tell the owners about the future? For dogs, the prognosis is generally good for mild cases. They recover and go back to normal life, provided they stick to a low-fat diet. However, for severe hemorrhagic cases, the prognosis is guarded to poor. Survival often depends on how much money and intensive care the owner can commit to. For cats, the conversation is different. Because it is often a chronic condition, I tell owners to expect lifelong management rather than a cure. Their prognosis usually depends less on the pancreas itself and more on the severity of their concurrent diseases, like IBD or liver disease.